Is that funny? Won't you come? is dribbling down the court. Go, pass, go. Go, pass, go. Pass can win the world championship if he just makes this shot. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm playing basketball. <sighs> well, I'm trying to play basketball. How's your basketball practice going, Paz? Terrible. I'm not any good. You know, Pez, nobody's very good at basketball when they first start playing. But I can't even make one basket. Well, with a little patience and a lot of effort, you'll get better. What do you mean? Have I ever told you the story of the tortoise and the hare? No. Well, once there was a tortoise and a hare. They're like a turtle? And a rabbit. Right. So the tortoise and the hare had a big race. Ready, set, go! The hare <laughs> was so sure he was going to win that he kept stopping along the way. But the tortoise was sure and steady. What does that mean? It means that the tortoise didn't give up. He kept trying. And believe it or not, it worked. The tortoise won the race. Are you sure? A hare's a lot faster than a tortoise. True, but the hare didn't try as hard as the tortoise did. Patience and effort almost always gets you where you want to go. Sure and steady. Hmm. Sure and steady. Hmm. Dragonflies. Cool. <gasps> Cool. Ribbit. Ribbit. Hello, Mr. Frog. Ribbit. I'm going to Pappy's house. Want to come? Uh -huh. Well, goodbye, Mr. Frog. Look, wow! You're fast. Bye. Hey! Are we racing? <laughs> Ready, set, go! <laughs> I am the world champion, <laughs> Ribbit, the fastest racer! No one can beat me! I can beat you. Ha! You? You're just a little penguin. And little penguins are too slow to beat me. Ribbit! Have you ever heard the story of the tortoise and the hare? <laughs> sure. That's the story about a turtle who beats a rabbit in a race. Uh-huh. Right. The tortoise never gives up. He's sure and steady. <laughs> so? So... I'm like that tortoise. I'm sure, and I'm steady. <laughs> Ready, set, go! Eat my dust! I'm sure, and I'm steady. I'm sure, and I'm steady. No one can beat me. Ribbit. Uh -huh. Impossible! I am the world champion. Ribbit, the fastest racer. Ribbit, you are just a little penguin, and little penguins are too slow to beat me. Ribbit. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sure, and I'm steady. <laughs> I'm sure, and I'm steady. <laughs> Huh? 
I am the world champion. Ribbit, the fastest racer. Ribbit, you are just a little penguin, and little penguins are too slow to be me. Ribbit. I'm sure, and I'm steady. I'm sure, and I'm steady. are too slow to beat me. I may be slow, but I'm sure and I'm steady. I worked harder than you did, and I didn't give up. So I won the race! I am the world champion! Hi, Pappy. How was your ride? I'm sure and I'm steady. And I'm the world champion! <laughs> I've been practicing. Uh -huh. ah. <gasps> Basket! <laughs> I did it, Big Penguin! You certainly did, Paz. All it took was a little patience and effort. I'm sure and I'm steady. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. <laughs> hubbub, hubbub, hubbub. Hubbub. Weekday mornings at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, where learning and fun come together. Coming up next, it's Pete. <laughs> Pete is next. <laughs> hubbub, 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 yum, sation, hubbub, hubbub, bubbub, what, what, no, hubbub, hubbub, weekday mornings at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, where learning and fun come together. Hey, that on, won't you come? You? <laughs> you are my first customer. Yeah. This is my store. And these are the things in my store. See? Have you ever pretended you had your own store? Well, welcome to Paz's store. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Paz. Good morning, ma'am. Well, good morning to you, too, sir. <laughs> My mom called me, sir. <laughs> well, you certainly have some interesting items. Oh, thank you. Oh, the sun is very bright out there today. How about a pair of sunglasses? Yes, and those are lovely. May I try them on? Oh, certainly. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. So, how do I look? You look just like a movie star. <gasps> well, then I'll take them. That'll be five fish cookies, please. Hmm, let me see if I've got that much money with me. <sighs> now, <laughs> oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five fish cookies. Thank you. Come Thank again. You. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to have my own store. One time, 
I had a different kind of store. It was my very own lemonade stand. Okay, I squeezed all the lemons. Right, time to add the sugar. Why do we add sugar? Because lemons are sour. They make your mouth pucker like this. <laughs> <laughs> so lemonade would be too sour without the sugar. I can do it. All right. Stir it up really well. I know. Around and around and around. All done. Ready to open my very own store. Paz's Lemonade Stand. Okay, Paz. I'll be in here if you need me. We are open! Ice cold lemonade! Pass his lemonade stand! Ice cold lemonade! Hey, pig! Hi, Paz! That was close! Would you like to buy some ice cold lemonade? No, thanks. Oh. But I love your sign. Thanks. I made it all by myself. This is my lemonade stand. Can I help? I'm tired of skating anyway. Uh, I don't really need any... Ice cold lemonade! Get your lemonade here! <laughs> this is fun! What should we do next? Well, we need someone to buy a glass of lemonade. Ice, Ice cold, cold lemonade! lemonade. No thanks. Baz and I are selling lemonade. Cool. I want to help. What do I have to do? Ice cold lemonade. Ice cold lemonade. You're really good at that, Rabbit. <laughs> thanks. Ice cold lemonade. Get your lemonade here. Baz's famous hmm. lemonade. Ice cold lemonade. Good catch, dog. I bet you're hot and thirsty. Ice cold lemonade! You wanna buy some lemonade, dog? Oh, uh, no thanks. Do you want to help us? Sure. Get your lemonade here! Ice cold lemonade! Get your ice cold lemonade here. <sighs> well, I guess I'm not very good at this. I didn't sell one single glass of lemonade. It still might happen, Paz. No, it won't. I must make the world's worst lemonade. No one would want to buy lemonade that I made. That's not true, Paz. You didn't buy any. Uh, I wasn't thirsty. I just had my water. Well, Rabbit didn't buy any. Sorry, Paz, but I don't really like lemonade. I don't really like anything that tastes sour. But Fog didn't buy any lemonade either. I wanted to buy some. You did? Your lemonade looks delicious. But, but I don't have any money. So, Pig, you didn't want any lemonade because you weren't thirsty right then. Right. And Rabbit, you didn't want any lemonade because you don't like lemonade. Right. And Dog, you wanted some. But you don't have any money, so you couldn't buy any. Right. So maybe my lemonade isn't so bad after all. Well, there's only one way to find out. Ice cold lemonade. Mmm, tasty. Ah, and ice cold. Oh, I kind of like it. A lemonade stand, is it? I'd like to buy an extra big glass, please. Coming right up. Delicious. I'd like another one, please. <laughs> so everything turned out okay. Just because people don't drink your lemonade doesn't mean they don't like it. Hi. How's everything going in your store? Good. Would you like to buy something else? Hmm. What I really need is for someone to help me make dinner. 
Oh, I'll help. I can make lemonade. What a wonderful idea. <laughs> I make really good lemonade. Bye. Mornings at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, where learning and fun come together. We're almost ready for the next show. High five! Let's watch. <laughs> hubbub, 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 hubbub. Yum, station! Hubbub, hubbub, bubbub! What, what? No! Weekday mornings at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, where learning and fun come together. Hey, that on. Won't you come? see you. Oh, I, I tried to play with my toys, but I really wanted to play with you. <laughs> what was that, Major? I, I think Major and Minor are having a fight. Uh, what are you guys fighting about? Really? Huh. Interesting. Huh. Major was afraid that you weren't going to come over to play today. Hmm? Uh-huh. Whoa. Interesting. But Miner was sure you were gonna be here. He just thought that maybe you were doing some other things first. Yeah. Bark, 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 Stop fighting! <sighs> okay, guys. Sometimes there are two sides to the same story. Wait. Where have I heard that before? Hmm. Oh, I know. One time, Big Penguin and Pappy had a fight, too. Yeah. Any sign of Pappy? Nope. He's still not here. <sighs> He's late. He was supposed to be here before lunch. Well, lunch is over. And he's still not here. Hmm. He's late. I'm gonna give him a call, just to make sure that he's on his way. Don't worry, Big Penguin. He'll be here. I hope so. Pappy's always late. Gee, what's the matter with Big Penguin? The winds blow hey. east, the winds blow west. The wind blow the sunshine, the fastest and the best. Big Penguin, he's here! Pappy's here! Hello, Paz. Isn't this a spectacular day? Spectacular! <laughs> <laughs> My walk over here turned into a nature walk. You won't believe all of the wonderful things I found. <laughs> You're late, Pappy. I've been trying to call you. Late? No, no, no. No, I'm early. I want to see. Oh. You were supposed to be here before lunch. You told me to come after lunch. I made a nice hot lunch for the three of us, but you're late, so we had to eat it without you. I'm sure you said to come after lunch. We were waiting for you. Paz and I were both waiting for you. Are you going to show me more stuff that you found on your nature walk, Pappy? You can look, Paz. I'm talking to your mother. I made sure to walk very slowly so I'd get here after lunch. That's when you told me to come. I didn't. You did. Hey, look at 
not me. You definitely said absolutely. I did not. You did. Come on, dance with me. You're always late, Pappy. Now, I am not always late. Pappy, come and see my treehouse. I remember your words exactly. You said to come after lunch. Well, next time I won't ask you to come at all. That's fine with me. Stop fighting! Why are you so mad at each other? Did, did I do something wrong? Of course not, Paz. You didn't do anything wrong. Pappy and I are just trying to figure out what happened. Do you still love each other? Oh, very much. I was upset because I thought I had told Pappy to come over before lunch. And I got upset because I thought the big penguin had told me to come over after lunch. Oh, so who's right? Who won the fight? <laughs> Paz, you are one smart little penguin. I am? No one wins the argument. No one was really right or wrong. Sometimes there are two sides to the same story. Two sides to the same story. What does that mean? Hmm. Well, let's see. Remember the time when we were at the beach and Dog kicked sand into Rabbit's face? Rabbit was really mad. She thought Dog did that on purpose. But Dog didn't know he'd done it. There were two sides to the same story. Oh. So you thought Pappy was late. And Pappy thought he was early. And that's two sides to the same story. Right. And it really didn't have anything to do with me? It really didn't. Not at all. I'm sorry I got upset, Pappy. Well, I'm sorry too. I'm sorry that we misunderstood each other. Wow. Even grown-ups say they're sorry. Cool. Can I go on a nature walk with Pappy? <laughs> yes. And when you get back, we'll all have dessert together. All three of us. Fish cookies? Yum! Come on, Pappy, let's go! The winds blow east, the winds blow west. The winds blow the sunshine, the fastest and the best. So Big Penguin thought Pappy was late, and Pappy thought he was early. And that's how I learned that sometimes there are two sides to the same story. <laughs> and look at all these cool things I found that day with Pappy. A red leaf, a pine cone, and a feather. Hey, maybe you can go on a nature walk too. Oh. Well, I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> hubbub, hubbub, hubbub. Hubbub. Weekday mornings at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Where learning and fun come together. Hey, are you ready to move? Everybody, do the Harry. I'm Hip Hop Harry. And I'm next. Yeah. <laughs> hubbub, 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 station. hubbub, 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 mm, what, what? No, hubbub, hubbub, weekday mornings at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, where learning and fun come together. Hey, that won't you come? a magic trick, but I keep messing it up. Well, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to be the best magician in the whole wide world. Want to see my magic trick? Okay, here goes. <laughs> Atta yada kazoom. <laughs> Double 
fish sticks. <sighs> Did you know that Big Penguin and Pappy and I went to a carnival? We did. Have you ever been to a carnival? Well, a carnival has lots of games and rides and cool shows. It is so fun! When I went to a carnival, I got a ride on a merry-go-round and a big Ferris wheel. I also saw a magician who did really cool magic tricks. I can make popcorn disappear. That's my magic trick. Do you want to see how? Okay, but I need your help. You have to say with me, Ada Yada Kazoom. Let's practice together. Ready, set, <gasps> Ada Yada Kazoom. Great. Now I'm going to make the popcorn disappear. Ready, set, Ada Yada Kazoom. <laughs> It disappeared. Ta -da! Come on, give me your best shot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest carnival on the planet. I am Paz, the great magician, and your master of ceremonies. Thank you very much. Now, for your enjoyment and your delight, I introduce to you the greatest juggler in the whole universe, Dog! Dog will juggle not one Frisbee, not two Frisbees, not three or four Frisbees, but five Frisbees! You heard right, folks. Pig, we were in the middle of the show. I want to play carnival too. Can I still play? Sure. Rabbit and I are about to do our magic act. Wait! I want to be in your magic act too. Sorry, Pig. Rabbit and I already worked out our magic trick. But what about me? What will I do in the show? Anything you want, just hurry up and pick something. Come on, Pig, you're holding us up. The show must go on! No! That won't work! And that's not fun! I can't decide! I don't know what to do! She is. <laughs> Pig, why are you crying? I couldn't think of anything to be in the show, and nobody would help me, so I decided to do the great disappearing act. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, I'm sorry, Pig. Me too. Me three. We didn't mean to make you cry. We were just excited to play carnival. That's all. Do you still want to play? Yes. Would you like some help thinking of something? Okay. I know. Y you could be the bearded lady. I don't want to be the bearded lady. What if you're a tightrope walker? Hmm. I don't like being so high up. Pig, what are your most favorite things to do? Hmm, eating vanilla ice cream. 
playing with my dolls and violin, reading books and swimming. I know what I can do. What? And now, ladies and gentlemen, for our grand finale, I give you the one and only, the beautiful and talented, the amazing and world famous, Mermaid Pig of the Sea! My next magic trick will be to make myself disappear before your very eyes. Are you ready? Ada yada kazoo! ta Bye! Bye. <laughs> Mornings at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, where learning and fun come together. Are you ready for what's coming up? Hi, I'm Medium. Let's get crushing! Blast off with me, Bigfoot, and the mighty monster truck friends next. <laughs> hubbub, 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 station. hubbub, 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 Weekday mornings at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, where learning and fun come together. Hey, that Won't you come? Look what Pappy gave me. Let's surprise Big Penguin, yeah. A big penguin toy and a little penguin toy. I wonder where they came from. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a toy, I'm just pretending. <laughs> but this penguin is a toy, right? Or is he also gonna jump out and scare me? <laughs> Pappy calls it a nesting penguin. Nesting? I don't see a nest. A big penguin! <laughs> not like a nest where a bird lays eggs. A nest where... <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, well, look at that. Nesting inside each penguin toy was another penguin toy. Neat, huh? I like how you've put them in order from largest to smallest. Oh, just like the time Dog and I had to put things in order in my closet. All aboard the Paz Express train! You can go on this boxcar, Great Penguiny. Oh, don't worry, really. Giraffes don't bite. Hey, Paz. Hey, dog. Wanna ride in my train? What are you hiding there? Ta-da! Ooh, candy. Hey, where did all the candy go? It's a box. I know how much you love boxes. Oh. Wow. This is a really great box. Thanks, dog. What are you gonna do with it? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Smile for the camera, dog. How's this? Click. Perfect. That was a great idea, Paz. I wish I could turn a plain old box into something neat. It's easy. You just look at the shape, 
and think about what other things have the same shape. I'll show you. Look. Uh, watch out! Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> Careful, dog. That's my puppet theater. Well, I'm not a puppet. Could you get it off, please? You have a lot of boxes, Paz. Come on, dog. <laughs> Help me put them back in the closet. Maybe you should get rid of some of these boxes. I can't do that. Each box is special. See? This box came in the mail with a book inside it. Then I made it into a banjo. Wow! Let me try. How am I going to get all these boxes back into my closet? How about you mush up the boxes so they're nice and flat? Flat things take up less room than things that aren't flat. Pass. <gasps> I cannot do that, dog. Boxes aren't boxes when they're all mushed up, no. <laughs> A robot! <laughs> Small box, big box, bigger box. Hey, I know how you can keep all your boxes without mushing any of them. How? Instead of stacking the boxes on top of one another, how about we stack all the boxes inside each other? See, this small square box can fit into this bigger square box. That's a great idea, dog. And this one can go inside that one. Hmm. This box is too tall. I guess it's like a puzzle. We have to make sure the shapes fit. Right. Hmm. Let's put the different shapes in different piles. Okay. I've got the squares. I'll take the rectangles. can sort from the smallest box to the largest box and start fitting them all together. I've got two that aren't squares. They're triangles. But put them together, and you make a square. <laughs> now it looks like I've hardly got any boxes at all. Oh, no. We forgot one. <laughs> That's not a box. It's not? It's a spaceship. Countdown. Wait for me. They look almost real, don't they? I keep waiting for them to do the penguin dance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this penguin looks just like Pappy. And this penguin looks just like you, big penguin. <laughs> and this little penguin looks just like you, Paz. <gasps> They're just like a family. <laughs> Toy penguin. <laughs> and I'm a big toy penguin. Huh? You could be a toy penguin too. See ya. Bye. <laughs> hubbub, 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 hubbub. Weekday mornings at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, where learning and fun come together. Ready, set, free. Moo, moo, moo. What should you do? Watch Wilbur. He's marvelous. She's next. Cool. Paz is produced by Telescreen BB, Egmont Imagination, King Rollo Films, Open Mind Productions, and Discovery Kids. Based on the books created by Mary Murphy. <laughs> Hubbub. 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 Yum, say 
Hubbub, hubbub, bub, bub. What, what? No, hub. Hubbub. Weekday mornings at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Where learning and fun come together.